the first time in the U.S. the virus has been found in mink, and those cases are right here in Utah. Utah is one of the top breeders of the animals across the country. New specialist Dan Rascona's reaction to just how serious this is. Dan? We're not talking about a lot of cases here. Only five mink from across the state of Utah have tested positive with the virus from two separate farms. We're not being told where those farms are located, but staff members from those farms have also tested positive. The state veterinarian says he's taking this seriously. This is cell phone video shot just today inside a mink farm in Utah, taken by the farmer's son, because right now mink farms across the state are pretty much off limits to outsiders. The reason? Five mink in two separate farms have tested positive with the animal version of COVID-19. Several staff members on those farms also testing positive with the virus. This is the first confirmed case in mink. The first cases of mink across the country found right here in Utah. Are you worried at all as a mink farmer? No. The state has told us not to be concerned about this. Ryan Holt runs a farm with about 7,000 mink in Utah County. He says it's not unusual for animals to get the virus. The animals that have contracted it, which would include a list from lions and tigers to cats and dogs uh, that have contracted COVID have all recovered fine and that we don't, shouldn't have an issue. With. According to the state veterinarian, the cases were discovered after one of the farms was seeing more deaths than normal. But there is no telling how they got it or how staff members at those farms also got the virus. There currently remains no conclusive evidence that animals, including mink, play a significant role in transmitting the virus to humans. As it now stands, due to limited information and research, the risk of animals spreading SARS-CoV-2 to humans is still considered low. Holt says they are taking every precaution necessary, but says a good thing about mink farms is they act as their own quarantine system, so the public should not be worried. Sheds are all enclosed, the housing's all enclosed, the animals are not out. Uh, there's no interaction between the animals and the other animals. We are being told that both of these farms are under complete quarantine, but no animals are being put to death. Now, this is the first case in the U.S., but not internationally. There also have been cases of mink tested positive in the Netherlands and also in Spain. I'm Dan Rascone for KSL 5 News.